Can close opponents down. Obviously, his job is to keep the Geelong half back quiet. Rooks after West Park, and he got him, and he'll get a free kick. He'll bring it back. Terrible awareness by Ref Clark early in a grand final, Luke. You've got to get the ball on quickly. He just ran and ran and he looked and looked and uh, that is a bad blue by the young Saint. Yeah, he just ambled uh, off the mark, didn't he? In grand final day, the intensity and the pressure, and that will make him very nervous. It was a Max Rook play. Is it a Max Rook kick? It is. He has the first goal of the grand final for the Cats. Good handball out to Kelly. Such an important player for the Cats. Kelly on centre wing, a long ball to beauty to Mooney, and on the second bite he's got it. Great kick from Kelly. Cam Mooney, converting at 52%. He kicks, he's got it. Cats have got their second. No one on the mark, so he runs about 30 metres and then just drills it long to a big contested situation. And the only man in the end that went up was Goddard. And his opponent, not to go. converting at 61% this year, 11th in the AFL in disposals. Brendan Goddard kicks the goal for St Kilda. Lane starts to fall. Blake almost took it out of the air, which I think would have been fatal for him. Ablett with help from Selwood. Geelong. Head over the ball, Selwood goes for home, and he calls it in! And the Cats have their third, the youngster's done it. Well, he was a bulldozer, absolute bulldozer at this stoppage. He uh, wins possession of the ball, and they just can't stop him. And he ends up getting a free kick. Gary Adlett, some support there. Clint Jones just couldn't hold him down, and what a wonderful effort by... The 21 year old. Cool. The distance just too much for Nick Del Santo. Oh, and he got the weight on the kick perfectly. Selwood saying he touched it. Del Santo yeah. so highly. Not a big goal kicker, only four for the year. A key one in the preliminary final, and now he's got one in the big one. couple of St Kilda's high draft picks from early in the decade. A one and a two. Ball goes for Revolt again. Three against him. That leaves some Saints down. One of them, Farron Ray, off the left. A very clever kick for Schneider. Who wants 50. But I think his football is better than beauty. This, this fella's got to finish off. He'll want this after a shocking miss in the early minutes. To give the Saints the lead for the first time. And he's done just that. St Kilda in front by two points. Does it well to Ablett? No, it's chopped off at the last minute. It was uh, Goddard. In fact, he was looking for Chapman and Goddard chopped it off. He put it inside 50. Revolt's turn to take the fly. Kelly to Scarlett. Game tackled by a couple of Saints. The umpire will bounce. That's a high tackle. Uh, free kick going to the way, Rob. But once again, we're seeing... It's free kick looks like it could be going some Kilda's way. So, the other way, there's the grab from Hawkins. So, this is a, uh, a big play to Hawkins. Geelong will play on through the corridor. They're kicking short with a wet footy. It's getting turned over consistently at the moment. And I'm not sure that they can adjust their game, Geelong. It's what they've played for three years, and it's been so good for them. Free kick against Scala for elbowing Dempster in the head. After that contest, Sean Dempster, Premiership player with Sydney a few years back. Dempster, very kickable goal, and kick it he does. Fourth goal for St Kilda. Wojcicki tried to get it to Burns unsuccessfully here. Selwood paddles, controls. Can he pick it up? He does. It's a good handball to Ling. He's on his wrong side. He squeezes the right foot out. It bounces towards goal. Burns will finish off. And again, some superb bullocking work from Joel Selwood has set up the goal. Absolutely. And, him. and now Rook will kick to the hot spot. Ablett works his way to the front. Free, free kick for a hold. 
It's going to Ablett. And this to put Geelong in front by a point. And what a great move it is. Look at the pressure that happens when you get Ablett in the forward line. Gilbert say, I've just got to do everything to stop him marking it. And he had a bit of a tug of the jumper. Even though he's got a height advantage, the power, the strength, the skill just uh, dominates with Gary Ablett. Ablett. Kicks the goal. Cats in front by a point. To Corey, to Chapman. Fended away the Ray tackle. Now Mackey. To Milburn. Throws it onto the left. Rook wrestling into the pocket. Dawson, good mark in the conditions. Cats front half. Not oh. looking terribly frightening, but there's a frightening error by Dawson. And Hawkins makes him pay. I'm going to have another look at that. I, that's the feeling I got too. And Cats into attack again. It's Ablett. Varko's loose inside 50. He wants to play on. He gives it to Chapman. Chapman has a ping at the goals. It's home. Two quick goals to the Cats. They lead by 12. Revolt. Kick smothered. As St Kilda work it towards their goal square. Jones has a ping, and Jones kicks the goal! It's made something out of nothing there, and just a typical wet weather day goal, and Clinton Jones kicks a big six-pointer as we near half-time. Get a good look at it here, he's playing on Ablett. Now, this is a massive bonus. If you can score on Ablett, make him think about you, not only just try and tag. So Ablett contesting the footy. Jones fell in his lap, really, but uh, hit it really well. And he's uh, done fairly well so far. Ablett's had 14 disposals. So in the last 30 seconds, time enough. Jason Graham, Fisher now, up from defence, scoring opportunity, two on two. Taylor went to ground, Kuzitsky missed it. He, no, he's kicked it, he's kicked the goal and scores a level again. St Kilda hitting back in the last two minutes of the half from two goals down to tie it up on the edge of halftime. What a massive hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. What's happened down here? It's a free kick, it's another free kick yeah, to another, the Saints. It's another free kick. Use the signal to the goal umpire right here. That's a swore. Yeah, can't see that. Twice. Demonstrative of your... Oh, Demonstr no, this is massive. It's for demonstrative talk to the goal umpire. He's paid another free kick. As Schneider finishes it off, and all of a sudden, St Kilda is in front. Now, Darren Milburn gave you every had a oh, argument with the goal that. umpire. No. Well, what I'd like to see is the uh, is the goal of Kaczynski's. Certainly wasn't touched. It wasn't touched. So Milburn thought it was. He goes and has a crack at the goal umpire. And umpire McBurney has paid a second free kick directly in front for arguing with the goal umpire. That is a huge play. But none forthcoming for chopping the arms in the marking jewel. As Milburn goes short to Ling. And Ling loads up on the left. It's a good kick. Moody takes the sit and takes the mark in the end pretty comfortably. Second half, and that is inside 50, number five for Geelong. St Kilda haven't got an inside 50 in the second half. So Cam Mooney kicks his second. And Geelong back in front by two points. Good game. They'll do a lot of that uh, in this quarter, the Saints. Montagna getting a boot onto it. Milburn holding Dempster at bay. So often finds a way. He's got some atoning to do after the events of late in the second quarter. Here's Graham for the Saints. Taylor and Revolt. Revolt! Good kick, Graham. He could have blazed away. He seriously squared that ball up, saw Revolt and said, one on one, I'll back you, as Eric Banner looks on and cheers. Taylor looked to have his number there. He seemed to have position, but at the death, it was the champion saint bringing Eric Banner out of his seat. And just his third mark for the game. Goalless until now. Surely that will change. It wasn't a great kick, but the lead has changed again. It's the Saints back in front. Otten's front position. Ablett. Can't escape Jones. Otten's to Selwood. Ling. Sitting it up. Rook 
against Fisher. Rook read it better. Chapman there as well. He's a killer around goal. Can he kill them here? Yes, he can. He's a beauty. A point the difference. Chapman second. Got to have a look at the Rook Shepherd. He gave time and space to uh, Chappie. And we'll see the Ling Torpedo punt go into the forward 50. And Rook just shepherds Gilbert out of the way and says, Chappie, you've got some time there to kick the goal, which he does. It's turn to press. Lakin King and Montagna at the front. Will put some colour in front and puts them a goal in front with a beauty from the pocket. Well, he's not the most accurate of kicks, Lee Montagna, but he's done it there. It's tight. Can they do it? Blake against Gardner. Give that one to Blake. Falls to the feet of Chapman. Good, clean skills. That's a good-looking kick. It's oh, a, he's got it. It's a brilliant kick. Hawkins. Hawkins. Chapman. Jason Blake just too far behind him. The legendary Bobby Davis watches on this to make it a one-point ball game. Hawkins gets the six points. Who goes into the corridor. Oh, almost into Ablett's the corridor. Out. Oh, he's yeah, out. he is. Johnson, can he pop it over the top? Ablett somehow has found some space. Oh. At the last minute, Zach Dawson spills it. But a clever soccer by Scarlett to Ablett from 18 metres. He drills it long to the tip of the goal square. Big flyers wanted. Varco, handball's over. It's a snap by Chapman. And Chapman's kicked the goal. Terrific play here by Scarlett, just to volley it off the boot to him. As far out of there as you can. Long and down the line. Milburn loads up. It's Riffold almost smothered it. Long ball. Taylor! Magnificent mark! That is a ripping mark. That's the Leo Barry, Bob Murray Good moment. <laughs> He's been told to go. There's Taylor handballs to Ottens. And he gives to Selwood. What a grand young player he is. And Ling gives Geelong the territory they want. Rook and Fisher burns. It hangs for Mooney. Poking it in the Rook direction. And he can go back. And he can have a shot. And surely any score will do it now. Wonderful kick by Mooney. It's over! The Cats' vindication has arrived. They have won their second in three years. But what a fight it was. What a wonderful, grueling, magnificent fight it was. Two out of three ain't bad. Max Rooks having the shot. With bodies lying all over the MCG turf. And with no one on the mark, he runs it home for a goal. And the Cats win by 12 points if the margin counts.